It is National Fentanyl Prevention and Awareness Day. People across the nation are highlighting the critical need for overdose prevention. News Channel 3's Shay Lawson tells us about the growing access to life-saving medication here in the Coachella Valley. So I lost my son Richard. He was 18 years old when he passed away in my home to illicit fentanyl. After her son passed, Amber Royer started a drug overdose prevention program. Had there been somebody like me out there? sharing awareness about fentanyl, maybe my son might be here today. Royer says her annual fentanyl prevention and awareness community-wide event is offering free Narcan training and testing strips. Because there is only a two to three minute window, so you never know when or where you could come across you know, to someone that needs that. Narcan, the brand name for naloxone, is a life-saving medication that can reverse the effects of an opioid overdose. It actually takes where the fentanyl is binding to the brain and it removes it from the receptor and it replaces it with this medication. Access to Narcan is growing in the Coachella Valley. I would say at all pharmacies, um, they are actually available now, I believe in vending machines, even in clubs. Um, with a lot of the festivals that go on here in the Coachella Valley. But we also have a street medicine initiative where we can, you know, we, we provide that. Riverside County has taken like a really broad approach to the fentanyl crisis. And one of those has been our naloxone distribution programs. We've helped schools get access to it. As we reported last year, all three Valley school districts have access to Narcan and have been trained on how to administer it. This fall, College of the Desert confirmed the campus will offer fentanyl test strips, but Royer says we still need to do more. We need to be prepared to handle those type of situations. Even though there have been no reports of students overdosing here in the Valley on fentanyl, a UCLA health study in 2022 showed that an average of 22 kids between ages 14 and 18 years old die weekly in the U.S. It's too late for my son, but this is, you know, for your children, for your nieces, for your nephews, for my grandchildren, for, you know, because it's wiping out a whole generation. Shay Lawson, News Channel 3. To find overdose prevention resources and to see our extensive coverage on the fentanyl crisis here in the Coachella Valley, visit our website, kesq.com.